Salutations, Internet. I'm Scroll Horse, and welcome to Bayonetta 2. Oh, it's fading away. Hang on. Um, I already recorded this. I recorded this a few weeks ago, but I had messed up some settings with my recording, so it looked like this. But I only played up until the end of the second chapter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new game, play through the first two chapters, and then continue from this save file. Just so I'm starting from the beginning, you know. Okay, before we start, I want to give a shout out to Mareshaw, I think it is. Uh, they were following my Bayonetta 1 playthrough, and they were giving a bunch of, like, tips, lore, stuff like that, and I really appreciate it. That was really awesome of you. So I just wanted to give them a shout out at the beginning of Bayonetta 2. I was supposed to record this in the summer, but then... Oh, so yeah, this isn't going to be a completely blind reaction for these first two episodes, but past that point, we should be good. Um, I haven't touched the game since I realized the recording didn't work, and that was about two weeks ago, in the universe of light and dark, where perception is reality. I think that was the start of the first game, too. So yeah, I've kind of forgotten, like, little details here and there, but I remember, like, the overarching plot, what's going on in the first two chapters. Ah, and there she is, Bayonetta. And new girl, I don't know who that is. She's wearing umbrian clothes, though, so... Okay. So this... I'm pretty sure this is Luca talking. Okay. Okay. Yes. Obviously, chaos. Our world was the one born from chaos. Yep. The three worlds all needed rulers. Okay, I'm just kind of focusing, trying to all, get used to the game again. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Ace. Oh. oh shoot. Yeah, this game's a lot snappier than Bandit of One. I like it a lot. Already. And, okay, we're falling. Okay, this was really interesting, too. I remember this. It seems like you can control some of the enemies, or like mount them, like ride them. And if that's the case, that's really cool. These observations became Aesir's power. Okay. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. Mm. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. Okay. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. We gotta get to listen to this a second time. And the left eye of darkness. Yeah. All right. Oh, big sword guy. I remember him. Okay, I like the design of this guy too. Humans gained free will. They could now choose. Oh, no. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny. Humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is oh. real. the most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking it. Yes. And we took our Oop. first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir have been granted the power of creation. Right, and I assume this is a demon. Yeah, I knew I knew going into this that this plot revolves around hell. So yeah. And then there's this guy. Yeah, he summons Fortitudo. Cheeky. Cheeky indeed. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. I like the action in these cutscenes too. Well, at least you're the silent type. 
The last sage I met spent 20 minutes rambling on and off. Yes, he did. What? Okay. We still don't know who that guy is. I kind of got the impression that that might be Father Balder, but then, well, this scene happens. So, yeah. Hmm. You will not escape this fate. You can't really make out the shape of what that is. Hmm. So I assume that might have been like a demon or something, and maybe he was like binding it to his body. At last, you have fulfilled your promise to me. Hmm. For I am always watching over you. So is the Lumen Sage the one with the staff? Could that maybe be Father Balder in the past? But the right eye of light was Because I know like time stuff happens. Along with its time travel shenanigans. The last of the Lumen Sages. Yep. Yeah, I try not to talk over the dialogue of these games. So if I'm ever quiet for too much, sorry. So let's just jump right in. World of Chaos. Yeah, I should have played this game around Christmas. That would have been really good timing. I didn't realize that it took place during this time. Of course, well, I was sick, so I guess I wouldn't have been able to play it anyway. Now the, all the people who worked on this game. Okay. Hmm. I'm curious to see what Bayonetta 3 does to change up the formula too. Oh, there's Enzo. Hmm. <laughs> there she is. You know what I, need. So I like this outfit. It's cool. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now, is that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you. For free, my dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg, sobbing like a schoolboy? Establishing shot. <laughs> This is why I can't have good things. I think that's what that is. Work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno... Oh, this might be more of an establishing shot, I guess. Anyway, I'll stop talking. <laughs> Just so you can off some angels and keep the underworld happy. Hey, I'm talking to you! Shit. But if it's that, I get torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of Inferno you witches go to if you break the contract. Forget about it. It's weird that he does that while still holding a conversation with Bayonetta. <laughs> like if someone just looked at me on the street while talking to someone next to them, that yeah, <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, there's John. <laughs> All right. You always know how to make an entrance, John. It's a sight to see you in the city. Just heard something I had to look into. For Enzo. You haven't felt anything strange recently. Now that you mention it. I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. 
Forget about it. And what's this Ceresa shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you can. Hopefully, this water bottle isn't too loud. <laughs> it's not closing. There we go. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. Oh, I forgot about that. That's really cool. See you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. All right. Definitely see why people ship those two. And there's the jets again. Oh, I just thought she has like roses. On her earrings too, that's cool. I want a toy jet. You know, the kind with wings, flies in the sky. No, I'm not buying any damned angels. I really vibe with this clerk, just kind of standing there, not responding verbally. I'm sure it was like a budgetary thing, but it's really funny that he just <laughs> doesn't say anything. Robinson Street. Oh, there's a ribbon. Ah, oh, that's a really cool shot. You know, I try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best. I know that shot might be the thumbnail. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, these guys are called acceptance. Okay, here we go. Well, time for me to censor some stuff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Gameplay, here we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. So it seems like you might be able to mount enemies. I'm assuming that's going to be a thing like later on, if it is. <laughs> okay, hopefully it looks good. This is where I first started noticing that it looked really fuzzy, so... But it looks fine in the preview, so... Yeah. Uh, let me try to sneak in a drink of water. Alright. Goodbye. Ugh. My allergies are acting up, so I apologize for any gross sick sounds. Okay, I know how to do this. It seems as though the witch time is a bit shorter in this game. I don't know if that's just me though, because I don't, I don't have my Wicked Wheeze yet, I don't think. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm already missing the combos, I mean the abilities that I got later on. Techniques, I should say, that's what they are. Alright, the guns broke, just like the first game. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> right on time to deliver a little holiday cheer. There's Rodon. Oh, fucking wonderful. Bro, 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 Don? But I don't believe in sin. Watch your mouth, Enzo. <laughs> don't want anyone offering you for sacrilege before you pay the tax. I kind of wonder why he's dressed as Santa, but. Yeah, I won't question it. All right. Oh. All right. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, and here's the new guns. Okay. I believe, are they called two as one? I think that might be what they're called, I don't remember. In the first game, I think they were called Scarborough Fowl. <laughs> Scarborough Fair, I think? Maybe, I don't remember. I'm messing up the title, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, now I think I have the Wicked Weaves, so... Okay, I'm Climax. This is a new thing. This is cool. Okay, I'm trying to remember. I think it was 1, 2, da, da. Yeah, there was that one. I just did the same one. Okay. I think it was... I keep trying to hit the other bumper instead of the one for dodging. Okay, I'm Climax. Okay, another cool thing is that we actually get to see uh, Madama Butterfly's full body in this game. Which is a nice little touch, I think. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Come on. Oh. Yeah, those are a lot more easier to do in this game. Oh, they just made a lot of really good quality of life changes in this sequel. I appreciate it a lot. Okay. I'm excited to see all the new angel designs too. Yeah, okay. I need to get used to dodging again. I'm usually a little bit late when I try to time it. Oops. Let's see if I can save this. Actually no, we'll just we'll just pop it for since it's yeah. <laughs> Our first torture attack, yay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, with Bayonetta 1, I would, like, take breaks between each session so I could practice the combos and stuff. Definitely gonna need to do that here. Oh yeah, we got new demons, too. That's gonna be fun to see. I assume that we also fight demons, too. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I forgot that it freeze frames on some of these uh, result screens. That's really cool. Yeah, I don't like the design of this guy. <laughs> it's creepy. Belief. Oh. Okay. I thought maybe I, I could remember if I was supposed to dodge that first hit or not, but I guess not. I hit the dodge button anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at my capture for a bit. Yeah, this is fine. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong with this recording. Oh. Okay. 
my mouse cursor was on the stop recording button, and I didn't like it being there. It's a bit too close for comfort. Yeah, it looks a little bit grainy, but that's only because I don't really have the best computer for recording. But hopefully it's not too bad. If it is really grainy, I'm really sorry. Because I'm going to upload this either way, it's just... <laughs> Right. Quick. Did you get everything? I got the caviar. Not the caviar. I don't know. I don't like caviar that much. I've tried it before. I mean, I, I, it wasn't like fancy caviar, but whatever. <laughs> it's just, it just fixed eggs. I don't know. Fish eggs don't seem that good. Oh, I don't like it with these. Cool. Okay. I am trying to be like really quick about this so that we can get through it. Alright. Yeah. This is definitely going to be a bit more frantic as we get into like the third chapter and beyond. Where I don't know what's going on. Okay. There we go. Ooh. There we go. This is the final Smash Demon. Okay. Nope, why? There we go. All right. We got a gold. That's pretty good. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, so it, when I first recorded this, I had said at the beginning of the recording, since I knew that this game took place in hell, I was like, oh, it'd be pretty cool if we got to fight some of Bane and the demons. And then this happened, so... Oh, I gotta watch this again. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're gonna be able to fight... Yeah, I'm wondering if we're gonna get to fight the end of those other demons. Uh, don't tell me if we do, but I think that'd be cool. Even if it's just like a bonus, like, boss fight thing. Okay, I already know how this boss works, so I can just kind of speed through this. Like, I already know all the tells and everything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Doing pretty good, making good progress. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like the spectacle of this boss fight though. This is really cool. Like up the side of the building, that's really awesome. Okay. Punch, 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 punch. Jojo. <laughs> yeah. I'm very curious to see how they're gonna improve on this system in Bayonetta the 3. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're already down to the last bar of health. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, one thing I've heard... Aw, oh, dang it. One complaint that I've heard about Bayonetta 2 when compared to Bayonetta 1 is that the enemy design isn't as good. 
I mean, I mean they, they didn't say it was bad, they just said it wasn't as good as one. So I guess that would probably be something to improve on in the third game. Plus there's probably ways to make this game more fluid, I'm sure. If they just like play test around with stuff. Alright. Oh, this is a twisty one. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a new demon. It's like a saber cat or something. Yeah. So I'm curious if we got Gamora back after this. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know how, like, the contract thing works with getting demons. Oh. Yeah. Very somber results screen. Okay, I'm assuming this is the Lumen Sage we saw in the prologue? Lumen Sage. And I don't know who this is. I know the one who destroyed your world. Hmm. I know the one who destroyed your it's being at his lipstick, I'm pretty sure. So, is the one they destroyed, is that Balder, maybe? Or at the gates of hell. Here. Dead witches get dragged to hell. Yeah. It is what it is. Jean's gonna wander inferno suffering for eternity. I'm assuming that we're gonna save Jean by the end of this, but it's still sad. I didn't ask you to tell me what I already know, Rodan. <laughs> Especially if you're going to be flip about it. You know better than that. You're not the kind to let that sort of summon go out of control, Bayonetta. Something's up. The balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right. Does it? Hmm. You know, she's pretty hot for a dead chick. <laughs> it wasn't Gosh, a bit a... shit when she was in the realm of the living. But looking at her now, <laughs> nah, still not a fan. <laughs> she's not dead. Look like how the music cut out right there. She's right in time. You're only really dead after your soul's been completely absorbed into another realm of the Trinity. Why this chair isn't too loud? <laughs> that's just a matter of time. Because I don't see no way of saving a soul lost in hell. What about the gates? The real gates of hell? Hmm. I can't stop you from trying to use them, but I don't think you got a chance down there. I'll see what I can do about putting her on ice for a while. You need this. The heart of an Umbra witch. The magic that keep your kind alive in this world for eternities. Should keep her body in this realm stable. But you'll need to reunite this with her soul if you're gonna try and bring her back. Hmm. I figure you got about a day before it's game over. Oh, we only have a day. I forgot about that. Enzo, you've got a jet, right? What? <laughs> no! No, 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 I do not know. Listen, I appreciate the situation, but you know what today is? My kids got cookies baked for me at home. <laughs> They're waiting for me. And I still got a place Santa tonight. Let the real Santa take care of the presents. Now let's go. All right. Hey, I said I believe. But Ed and Edna, you can't put one over on those two little fuckers, let me tell you. <laughs> hey! Let go! Let go of me! Why do I always get wrapped up in this shit? Hey, this motherfucker. Yes. Okay, I forgot what the name of the new place is. Okay, World of Chaos. Silver, that's pretty good. Okay, that's where we're gonna have to cut it for now, so anyway, have a lovely day, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.